Sundar Salaam Alaikum. Dear guests, my name is Sarah Howard and I am the admin marketing intern at the MAOC. I would like to welcome, to welcome you to the Dementia Friends and Support Services event today at Ashford Central Mosque. I am privileged that all the speakers and services are here to support the event. The program for today is in the packs, um, including evaluations which we ask you to complete at the end of the session so that we've got them. Um, please utilise the services provided around the stalls um, and use all sort of health checks um, on both sides of the room for everyone as well. Um, before we begin the programme, we would like to show you a six minute promo of the work that MEMC do. And next I'd like to introduce Mohamed Sama, who's the Chief Executive for MEMC, um, who will take the programme forward. Mohamed has provided various skills to the organisation, from developing projects, business planning, fundraising, marketing, training, work placements, international cultural arts exchange programmes and artistic skills for over 27 years. He also represents MEMC on various strategic boards, such as the Rochdale Council and HMRCTG Dementia Steering Group, Health Watch Rochdale, NHS Clinical Senate for Greater Manchester, Lancashire and South Cumbria. He's a governor for the Pennine Care Foundation Trust and Link for Life to support other organisations in the voluntary sector. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. It's a ple pleasure to organise this event here in, in Thameside. It's the first time we organised the event uh, in terms of the de dementia awareness. The reason for organising the event here is to identify how we can help uh, the wider community, particularly the BME community, in finding out about dementia and the related services. And uh, we've been supported by the uh, Ashton Central Mosque here today. And I'm very proud that some of the executive members are present here today have been very helpful in helping us to um, engage with the community here and provide, provide us with, with this beautiful venue. I'm just going to introduce uh, the work that we have done uh, for the past 18 months around dementia in different areas. The projects MAMC has delivered over the two years period on dementia awareness sported by various commissioners. Does most of us know what dementia is? Just put your hand up if you know. Okay, we have a 50-50 split. So, more reasons why we should know. Networks, and today is about a network launch in the Northwest. If you need any help, put your hand up because I can do the translation of what the session is going to be. We're part of NHS England and what we do is we work across, um, I suppose, the whole of the dementia journey really. So we work with clinicians and um, the trusts. What's the first thing that pops into your head when you hear the word dementia? <coughs> Memory loss. Memory loss. Frustration. Frustration. Anger. Anger. Fear. Fear. Are all those words negative? Nobody's come forward with a positive. And that's what we're trying to change. We're trying to change the negative regarding dementia. The appointment's usually at the clinic for about three hours long. So generally, the person who's been referred comes and somebody would usually come and support them and care. But somebody who knows them well will come and accompany them. So you don't come on your own generally. We like we like people to come with somebody else. So we do a full, what we call full mental health assessment. Um, so we will ask lots of questions about how you function on a day-to-day -day basis, how long the problem's been going on. Our main aim is to help people, older people, to love later life. Because sometimes it can be a bit difficult to do that without the right support around you. So this is my service, the Dementia Support Project. This is a relatively new service. So this provides person-centred support to people affected by dementia. So that's people who have dementia. It could be their friends, their families, their carers. What I would like to say is, because dementia is something which is not known, not many people know about it. We know quite a lot about uh, other heart diseases, lung cancer and uh, you know diabetes, a lot of work has been done around that. 
but uh, we haven't as a community heard anything about dementia. I'm just part of the community. Uh, member here in Ashton Mosque. I would like to thank you. Uh, this is the first time I ever, ever heard of dementia. Uh, and uh, I have enjoyed everything what you presented. Uh, I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm very well aware uh, a bit now, but I would, I would be grateful that if there are more programs and that I, I become aware. Thank you. As uh, you know, the gentleman pointed out, uh, the professionals are getting to know better with more research facilities, but then the community has to know much more, but you know, more. Um, and so I was doing, Mohammed is doing the, doing the right thing um, at, at the right time, I believe. Uh, especially with these, with so many changes happening um, within the city, within Manchester, within the Devon Bank, and the, uh, um, you know, extremely uh, significant changes happening with mental health. Um, so congratulations to the team and we need to keep moving forward with this. Thank you. My name is Brendan, I'm from the research department at Pennine Care, so I just thought I'd take the opportunity to put a little plug in. Um, we've talked a few times, research in dementia has been mentioned. Well, and there is increasing interest in research in the area of dementia and Pennine Care has been involved with a number of research projects that haven't just looked at medicines and medications, but the kind of supports that individuals with dementia and their carers need and require, especially around diagnosis and early diagnosis and later on um, in individuals' care. And in general research, um, members of the BME community are underrepresented and I'm sure they're significantly underrepresented with the dementia as well. I just want to thank you for organising this and I think it's the beginning of you know, uh, distributing more information in the community and we've got to start from somewhere so well done for starting as well. Locally, as far as we, we're concerned at the same time, a lot of indigenous and Asian community are suffering with dementia. What I find that there's not much help going around here and not, a lot of people are not even aware where to go. When they go to social services, I think they, they just moved away. And the, when a person who suffers goes to hospital for a treatment or to be looked after, it's totally ignored. Uh, medications are not given. Food is not given because the, obviously the moods, of, I understand from what the speakers have just said, but they're not treated the way they should be. Thanks very much to everyone who's attended, especially Mama Salah for organising it. Um, I think the presentations have been absolutely excellent. They've been very, very informative. So I'd just like to extend our thank you on behalf of the management, everybody who's attended, whether, you, whether it's been us, uh, a participant in the audience, or whether it's been standing up here and presenting. It has been very, very informative. For 15 minutes, I'm going to ask you around your tables just to discuss the symptoms and types of dementia from your experience. I'm repeating over and over, you know. Yeah. Um, we've got the different types of um, dementia, uh, Alzheimer's, vascular dementia, frontal temporal dementia, uh, mixed type dementia in the bodies, Symptoms of Alzheimer's include regularly forgetting recent events, names and faces, becoming increasingly repetitive. How it all works, um, most of the referrals we get are from GPs, we do get some from other doctors and uh, that's usually as a result of either the person with memory problems going to their GP themselves and saying they're worried about the memory or quite often another family member taking them. But for us, um, um, I thought it was really good was uh, we've got people with different backgrounds, with different experiences, all talking about their perceptions of the same issues. So it gives us an appreciation um, of the dementia parent situation. Uh, so that's what was good. Uh, what we could improve on is instead of biscuits, could we have Danish pastries? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Next time. Good point. I agree with you there on that one. It was the OHP slides. Um, we could have done with better, uh, crisper uh, yeah. slides. We thought that working in small groups and interacting in, in a smaller setting was really helpful. 
um, and listening to other people's experiences. Um, and um, we thought that it would be useful to, um, to, to have the points sort of summarised a bit more. So maybe the bullet points on the slides and then the handouts that sort of go into a bit more detail because it would be useful to know what the key points are. We thought it was an in-depth medical description and we, we hadn't really expected it to be like that. Um, it was a lot to take in, yeah. fast presentation, mm. we need time to assimilate all the information. Um, we found the handout very helpful for us and the fact that we can take this home and work on it ourselves gives us a bit more time because it has been a bit fast paced for us um, and there's a lot of information involved and like, like that lady was saying it's um, quite in depth isn't it. Um, what, what we said was we didn't realise, I didn't realise how dementia affects a whole range of people um, like Sharon was saying, she worked in a vets and they had a guy who was coming in there and he started with dementia. We found that um, a lot slower pace this afternoon. Um, we didn't find it was going as quickly and it did cover what we expected it to cover. Yeah, so this afternoon. Yes. Yeah, more interactive as well. Yeah, more um, What we could have done better, I think, if we'd started off with signs and symptoms for people like me who've never really identify issues of dementia and Alzheimer's. So it would have been useful for me to have the signs and symptoms at the beginning of the day, yeah. and then maybe work the rest, the rest of the course. Yeah. Okay.